Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. This week we'll be taking a look at the Premiere Outlining tool for both the Mac and iPad, and that's Omni Outliner. Now, Omni Outliner has had a major upgrade on both platforms, and I thought it was time to see what new features have been included. I personally haven't upgraded yet, and to be honest, the lack of cloud syncing in the earlier versions was a huge problem for me. However, this has since been resolved with the introduction of Omnipresence, but I still wasn't sure if I should upgrade or not. Consequently, I asked Tim Stringer to take us through the basics of Omni Outliner for iPad this week, and some of the more advanced features next week. Now, Tim is also at the helm of this week's Mac show, bringing us up to speed on Omni Outliner 4 for the Mac. So, over to Tim to see the new version of Omni Outliner for iPad. Hi everyone, welcome to part one of our two-part look at Omni Outliner for iPad. In part one I'll show you how you can create a basic outline, and in part two we'll get into the more advanced features of Omni Outliner. While you can use this app completely independently, you also have the option to share information with Omni Outliner 4 for Mac using a technology called Omnipresence, and this is something we'll cover in part two. A quick word about outlines before we go on. In a nutshell, outlines allow you to logically group information. For example, you might use an outline in a meeting as a way to group all related topics when taking notes in a class or to plan a project. In fact, this screencast started out as an outline that I'll be referencing as I record. All right, so here we are in the App Store, and I did a search for Omni Outliner 2, and I've already gone ahead and purchased the software, so I'm just going to tap on Open to launch Omni Outliner. First time you launch Omni Outliner, you'll be taken right into Omni Outliner Help. And from here, you can take a tour of Omni Outliner, you can add a cloud account, you can import from the earlier version of Omni Outliner, Omni Outliner 1, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard, and there's some great uh, keyboard support for Omni Outliner. You can create a new document, or you can view the Omni Outliner 2 for iPad user manual. For now, we're just going to click the Done button, and I'll show you in a moment how you can get back to the screen if you need to. We're now in the Omni Outliner Document Manager. From here, you can open existing documents, you can create new ones, and you can perform document management. Right now we're looking at a list of sample documents that come with Omni Outliner, and these are local documents. They're stored physically on the iPad. If I tap on locations, I can see other sources of documents. For now, we only have local documents, but in part two, we'll look at how to use Omnipresence to access documents that are stored on the cloud and shared with other devices. Now let's take a closer look at the Omni Outliner document manager. I'm going to tap on local documents, and then I can select these documents by tapping on Select, and then tapping on whatever documents that I want to select. At this point, I can tap on the Action icon, I can send via mail, I can export to a WebDAV server, I can send to another app on my iPad, or I can create a template based on this document. If I tap on the Folder icon, I can move the selected document either to a new folder or to an existing folder. I can duplicate the document by tapping on Duplicate. You'll see another copy of the document has been created. If I wanted to delete this duplicate, I'd tap on Select, tap on the duplicate document, then tap the Trash and say Move to Trash. And if I tap on the Omni Outliner gear icon, I can get back to the Omni Outliner help screen that we saw when we first launched Omni Outliner. I can contact the Omni Group, view release notes. If I've deleted any of these sample outlines or, or modified them, I can restore them back to their original state. I can set up the cloud, which is what we're going to look at in part two. And I can access Omni Outliner settings. Now let's tap on settings to see what settings are available. And you'll notice there are just a few settings, and in general I would leave these at the default values. So I'm just going to tap Cancel for now. Now let's create our first Omni Outliner document. So I'm going to tap on Plus, and I'll be presented with a list of all of the templates that are available. And these are all the templates that come pre-installed with Omni Outliner. And looking through them, you can get an idea of the sort of applications you might use Omni Outliner for. As I mentioned earlier, you can also create your own Omni Outliner templates. 
or you can customize the ones that come with Omni Outliner. For now, I'm just going to select the default template. And here we have our first Omni Outliner document. So now we can start to add some items to our outline. And I'm going to use the same scenario that I used for the Mac screencasts. So if you're using both the Mac and the iPad, you can see how the two applications compare. So the scenario is that uh, you're getting ready to launch a new company soon and you need a website to promote your new company. And you have a lot of ideas swimming around in your head about what sort of information you want to include on the website. But it's not really clear how you want to organize it. So I'll begin by listing some ideas I have for the website. And then we can use Omni Outliner to further structure this data. So I'm going to tap on this first row that was created automatically. And I know for sure we want to have a blog on our website, so I'll tap blog. And at this point, I could either tap the plus button to add a new row, or it's generally simpler just to tap return. And I also want to have contact information on the website so they can get in touch with us. Press return again. Um, I want to have uh, some information on the company, so I'll put uh, call that about us. And also want to include information on the services we offer. So let's type services. And as I think about this, there's a couple of different service areas that come to mind. So we've got graphics design, and we also offer technical services. And I was thinking it would be great to have a contact form that people could fill out so we can find out more about what they're looking for. So let me add that in, contact form. And uh, maybe an interactive map would be good as well, so people can easily find our office. So say interactive map. And then as I think about this a bit more, it'd be really good if we had bios for the people at the company. So I'm going to add an entry for each of those. We'll have a bio for Mary, a bio for uh, John, and a bio for Charles. Now let's take this list and start to bring some structure to the information we've entered. If you'd like to learn more about Omni Outliner for iPad, we'd like to send you the full version of this tutorial completely for free. All you need to do is to head over to screencastsonline.com slash free OO before the end of April 2014 and claim your free tutorial. As an extra special bonus, we'll also send you part two when it's published and bring you up to speed on some of the more advanced features, including adding columns and formatting. So just visit screencastsonline.com slash free OO before the end of April to claim your free Omni Outliner for iPad tutorials.